very often i have seen chief learning officers misunderstand their role as arrangers of training as people who go lo- looking out for training companies and bring them for the company or they confuse themselves as schedulers of trainers and training a good chief learning officer is somebody who constantly ask is asking the three questions question 1 is to say what do i do to cement and build the values of the company two what are the current gaps in technical and as well as managerial abilities of my people and how do i bridge them three what is the curriculum which i need to put for this to be practical and how do my interventions translate into skills and abilities and not remain as only knowledge so the differentiating thing where a chief learning officer is successful is in those organizations the organization fo- focuses a lot more on application oriented interventions i am not understating the value of knowledge but knowledge at an adult level can be self learned you don't have to uh, create a context in which you will put a person and you would have to run anything so what a chief learning officer should be doing in an organization as far as knowledge is concerned is to be able to create the hunger in the people and to be able to motivate them to go and find the knowledge and learn without any assistance skill on the other hand cannot be learned without assistance we we'll have to remember that perspectives cannot be learned without assistance as you move in an organization up perspectives become more important than skills and knowledge so this in my mind is the perspective a chief learning officer has to have about his own role would i like a chief learning officer who is respected as somebody who is a skill inculcator i believe yes a chief learning officer's credibility comes only when he personally is seen by other people as capable of imparting skill to other people he personally is seen as somebody who can build perspectives who understands where these resources are in the world not within the company only right he should know that these are resources which are available and spread all across the world and he is almost like a matchmaker he is able to find this resource in the world and then able to find the group of people who are going to really benefit by this association and then he pairs them up sometimes it is one on one sometimes it's a group to an individual but in all this he is somebody who is orchestrating the process of learning